So switching over. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, so where to begin? I believe we're following the main mission over here. Yeah. So we're gonna hop on a mushroom, get back down there. Whee! Oh. That's freaking weird. And what the hell is that? Oh. Shitty titties, okay. I hate the call to adventure. <laughs> yep, we got ourselves a new anchor. We gotta go crush it. Let's see what we got going on here. Matter of fact, there's already people here. Excellent. We joined the fray! Back, monsters! I say the day! Who needs heals? You do! Oh my. Look at the everything. Just gonna throw fireballs here and pray that they all hit something. A lot of people over here, actually. Did you think Molag Bar, the Lord of Domination, would be defeated so easily? Ooh, one side. Heals for everybody. Then Miss Mungus! This will not finish me. Shiny. There's a lot of stuff to collect. Uh, yeah, I'll just take everything, thanks. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Oh, uh, actually, I think what happens is somehow the uh, game essentially makes them a no-level thing, which means that. Uh, it's uh, when you wander into that particular instance to fight things from the portal, you're all technically the same level. It, 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 I'm not sure how they work it. It's really weird, but essentially everyone kind of works on an event like that, like they're all at the same level, essentially. Um, things like City Heroes would uh, like boost everybody up to max level or something like that uh, in order to make it an even fight, but it's something along those lines, but not exactly the same way that City Heroes does it. Or did it. So yeah, essentially it's supposed to be even for everybody, although if you're a higher level you have a lot more skills and a lot more polish to your abilities, so you technically are still going to be a bit stronger than a lobby, but you still have, at least even as a lobby, you still have a solid chance of possibly surviving it. <clears throat> Alright. All right. So that happened. Let's see, what all did swag did we get out of that? No. No, no. Actually, I've been holding on to this axe for a while. I think it actually might be better than my sword. Uh, it's two-handed. So it works with most of my abilities. Does flame damage. Ooh, fire axe. Interesting. Uh, medium armor leggings. Garbage for armor. 
does a bigger bonus for health, though. I might be interested in taking those apart, though. More so than actually using them. Uh, not that interested. Ooh. No, wait, I just actually, I just uh, uh, did those. Never mind, yeah. And I think, yeah, okay. Yeah, my my base armor is still better than that. So anyway. I'm rather busy. <laughs> I pull it out and it just glows with flame. <clears throat> Who wants to burn? My fire axe are going to deal with this. All right, in we go. That looks wonderful. A bunch of nasty little imps running around. Oxo walks in ash. Hiya. I've gathered some of our most skilled fighters here. We're poised to infiltrate the fort as soon as the way is open. You're the perfect fit for my plan, my friend. So what is the plan? My grandsire was a powerful shaman. He passed down an ancient formula for an elixir that allows a traveler to walk in the other world between the living and the dead. It works on those who've become attuned to the realms beyond. And you think I'm already attuned? You're different. You must know that. Not all of you is with us, yes? That makes you the perfect candidate for the elixir. Using the elixir, you can pass through the catacombs beneath Fort Varak. Find the door, open the way, and end this siege. Uh, do you want me to drink the elixir? Yes, drink it. Then you'll be able to go where we cannot. Of course, not all in the other world will welcome you. Contact with the beyond could be unpleasant, so avoid any creatures you see there. Good luck. Goodbye. All right. So, because I am uh, technically a soul shriven, a undead warrior for that's probably been brought back from beyond. I'm technically the best thing for this. Drinky, drinky. Ooh, oh my. Ooh, this is funky. Ooh. Hmm. Yes, I can see why we want to avoid contact. Ooh, easy. Come on. Nobody's ever happy to see me. Ooh. Company ain't getting any more pleasant around here. <clears throat> This has led me to nowhere. Oh.
for the ghost to move away again. Got to find my way through here somehow. That's a dead end. This looks more like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see that crack in the wall there. Seems to be the second one in a row. All right. And Bolton. Ease my way through the wall. Easy. Woo! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! <clears throat> like eels through seagrass, we're inside. Well done. As we speak, my troops are attacking the fort's main yard. So the fort is ours? We still have plenty of work to do. Without reinforcements, these troops won't last long. And I'm sure Sarian won't give up without a fight. The real battle has just begun. It's time to finish off General Sarian and his abominations. Then we can reclaim Fort Verak for the Pact. Holgan and Tanvil have rallied the Nord and Dark Elf troops. They're just waiting for the signal that the gates are unbarred. I'll remove the bars. Where should I look for Saren? After the gates are unbarred, look for Sarian in the fortress keep. We think he's holed up inside, studying his spell books. Blood for the Pact. I'll unbar the gates and then go looking for General Sarian. So Sarian, 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 And away we go. Uh, I'm two levels away from getting more armor. I'm gonna keep bringing up my crafting ability. Hi guys. The war effort continues, I see already. All right. Looks like a hodgepodge hot mess in here. Let's see here. Yeah, first things first. We need to unbar the front gate. Find me while I butt in. I'll keep you boys all toasty. My axe. <laughs> oh, look, the blacksmith. I'll take all of their blacksmith stuff. Shink, shink, shink. No more weapons for you. Thought you were sneaking up on somebody, did you? Eat fireballs. Ooh. <laughs> I like this axe. Ah. Keep on for that. I'm going to not fall for it one of these days. There. <clears throat> oh, they just want me to push the E button. We'll meet you in the secured area for the pack. Everybody in. Tabbed out. At least an armed attack. They really want me to talk to you right now? 
Oh, hi. Uh, now's not a good time to be tabbing out, game. Computer, you can really learn to stop just tabbing me out of nowhere. Ooh, level. Like, we really need to talk right now. Come on, where are you? The hell? S sent me a marker up this way to talk to people, and then they're not even here. What? Whatever. I have no clue what the hell the game wants now. Oh wow, hi. Let me cast a spell! Goddamn ass, whole game? Just trying to move out of the way of the guys attacking me and you're making it a bigger and bigger fucking cluster to a point I'm just pissed off at you. God damn. How'd you all just fucking eat a dick? You especially. in Ash and me when you're finished. Now then, who wants an axe to the throat? Uh huh. Too late. You've come <clears throat> too late. Uh, are you okay? Where's Syrian? He's gone. That milk drinker was experimenting on us, turning us into fodder for his undead legion. He turned them. Turned me too. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. What can we do? Too late for me. Dying. Then I'll reanimate. Sarian's planning something. Some necromantic ritual. Got to stop him. Look, you've got to end us. Take a candle to the journals. 
Fire will do the rest. Go! Yard is secure. Once again, the pact controls Fort Virak. Yet General Serian still lives. Where is he? He has much to answer <clears> for. <throat> General Serian is in the keep. He's turning in soldiers into zombies. That Covenant General is a monster. Thank you, soldier. We'll ensure the dead rest peacefully. We can't let General Serian finish his ritual. Garin and I are ready to dispel his wards. Get ready for a fight, soldier. Will I face beyond the gate? You'll face the dead. I don't know how he's doing it, but Serian has transformed our warriors into undead slaves. Once the ward is down, enter the gate. Make your way to the keep and confront General Serian. We'll join you as soon as we can. Let's do this. has been dispelled. Go find Sarian. We'll join you as soon as we've recovered our strength. Someone's getting an axe to the head. Want to die, please. You have my eternal thanks. I... They're going to turn us into zombies. You, you have my eternal. <laughs> Zombie apparently has something, but I can't loot it. Come on. Come on. There. You come here. Buried the hatch in somebody's skull here in just about a minute. Not particularly fond of having to kill our own people. Ah! 
Hey there. Glory for the pack. Go on some. in a moment, pardon me. Most me again, have you? We've done it. The general is dead. No, I must not fail. else is going to comment on that? Immune to fire. <clears throat> Not immune to holy magic, though. So he burns with holy flames. That's why I'm a cleric. He took the coral heart. And Garen, curse the fates. The wolves are circling, my friend. Why would Ter uh, Terminal steal the coral heart? He's planning to use it to release Sadar, the second brother of Strife. We've got to stop him. All of Stonefalls will suffer if Tarnvol exploits the tormented spire. We've got to keep the pack together. We must preserve the alliance we've spent blood and men to forge. Hogan, can I ask you a question or two? I'm wounded, curse it, but I'll try to answer any questions you have. Who is Sindal? Sindal is the second greater brother of Strife. We put Balrath back into his cage at Ash Mountain, but his ancient fiery brother still lurks in the heart of the tormented spire. We can't allow Tarnvol to let that monster out. What is the tormented spire? Another one of these cursed Morrowind volcanoes. 
Like Ash Mountain, they made the spire into a mystic prison to hold a brother of strife. It's south of Virak, just beyond the town of Kragenmore. Is there something wrong with Kragenmore? It's a bastion of House Drez, and their Grandmaster is the only one with access to the mountain. The spire has a mystic veil that stops anyone from wandering to the top. To get to the spire, we'll have to deal with the Drez. Why do you think the Tanval? Why do you think that Tanval did this? Garen is why. He was Tanval's only child. For all the medals and honors he received during the war, I think raising Garen gave him the most pride. Losing Garen to the Covenant broke Tanval. I think he snapped. I have my own theory because it looked like a ghost entered him to me, but it's a kind of a weird thing that only I can see. Ooh, look at that. Shiny plate. What kind of armor is this, anyway? Lion bearer, chest plate. Uh. This first is forged by the great warsmiths of Daggerfall. Part of a set. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Yep, the other brother of strife. Back to dealing with this shit again. We just got done with it and we're back into the thick of it. <clears throat> Seen any nodes over there? My horse, uh, a horse, uh, my thick back for a horse. The day is not yet won. I see the in you the fear that would take the heart of me, etc., etc. Moving on. Why is this stick still here? Once again. Okay. Oh, wow. Um... I'm going to go out this way. something there for a moment. Um can't just walk up there. Oh I also I just noticed no, that's just the cover for the bridge. So I suppose we're gonna have to go this way before we can go to wherever it is they want me to go. Oh yep. Not this day for Frodo. So actually, that's uh, Return of the King. I think that's something to do with the speech at before they took Mordor. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, hello. Ooh, look, more stuff I can loot. I see re no reason not to. Especially when they're going to drop me lock picks. Best part about being solo: no one fights you for the chests unless they're not part of your group. <laughs> oh, yeah, somewhere over here. 
Oh look, a major Stonehenge. At least it's not in the... not being threatened to being crushed by a small dwarf. There's a reference for you. Who are you supposed to be? Hmm. <clears throat> blessed, uh, yeah, blessed crucible. Hmm. Not exactly what I'm looking for here. Um, wait. Now, why is it this way? Okay, the game officially can't make up its mind at this point. It's telling me to head back that way again. Hmm. Looks interesting, though. Oh well. I guess I'm not meant to partake in this area just yet. It's telling me to go back. I also meant to uh, watch the Dark Tower movie and uh, as a separate subject. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm s sorry. You said Dark Tower and my brain automatically went to Two Towers. It's like, wait, that's from Turn to King. Making it from yet when you do me a Oh, oh. Oh, actually, we're not even following that mission right now. We're literally going to this other mission that we've had for a while. So we can actually finally join that group. <clears throat> yeah, I've been hearing that's a really mixed bag, depending upon uh, how much you know about the lore, especially. Because people were apparently going to the Dark Tower, and most people were going to Dark Tower going, It's going to be Dark Tower Part 1! So that way we get to start from the beginning in movie format. Actually, technically, it's like Dark Power Part 8. Um, the reason why most people don't get it is because it's actually technically a sequel to the books. As they currently stand. Hurry now. Release me. So, there's a lot of confusion around that movie. I haven't heard anything bad about the actual acting or anything, but I've had he have heard that people, a lot of people felt that it was confused and muddled. And it's probably due to that. Yeah. <clears throat> and hey, we cleaned up this entire battlefield in record time, and there's another one of these gates. For the loots! Drop in. Ow. The little pip squeaks are annoying.
This is not the end. new things actually let's see what's this that that is garbage sadly yeah light armor 26 well 20 ring of the sun maxim magica uh, magica recovery Um, da, 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 nah. Uh, weapon though. We got a new mace. Yeah, sadly, it looks like all of the weapons are still garbage. Yep. Um, ooh. Pattern, I'll learn that right away. I'm not seeing anything else to worry about at the moment other than the fact that I need to empty out my inventory. Um, let's see here. All right, so that's done again. Seems like that thing's opening up every five minutes or so. Oh, hi. horse and away carrying flesh for larvae you goose I've been up and down the coastline fighting all of the enemy armies that have been surrounding this area and they still want me to go into some fungus cave to fight some monsters. Fine, I'll go to your fungus cave. Weirdos. Summoning Sadal, we'd all be dead. Yes, and you are? Will you hear my plea? What's going on? Renegades from my tribe are besieging the tribunal temple at Iliath. <clears throat> our wise woman needs help persuading our Ashkon this is a terrible mistake. She wants to oppose her tribe's leader? If he won't listen, she must. We Ashlanders just don't ignore the advice of our wise women. Our Ashkon defying her wishes? It's wrong. Please, if you can help, seek her north of the temple. Okay, I'll have a look, I guess. 
I'm gonna be focused right now though. Got other things going on. Uh hiya. Do you come bearing a sword? Or are your palms open to the sky? Where Scots told me to speak with you. Then you know the shape of the problem. Our Ashkon has laid siege to the tribunal temple. He knows I disapprove. He rallied the hot-headed warriors of our tribe while I was meditating. He snuck out while my back was turned. What would you have me do? The monks must understand we are not their enemy. Take an offering of herbs and potions. The Ashkan took our store to his camp. His renegades are protecting them. Fight through them. Take the medicine. Deliver it to the temple. Can you do this? You don't want to attack the Ashkan directly? He acts against my wishes, but he is still our Ashkan, the patriarch of our tribe. I keep the Kagesh tribe moral and wise. He keeps them safe and strong. He is our right arm and sharp and steel. All his followers are my children. Then what end do you hope to see? I would have him give up this folly and rejoin us. We should live in peace, far from the houseman. If he won't listen to me, I'll have to step away from his side. So understand me, Outlander. If I must order Zedak's death, I've failed. Goodbye. I'll look into it. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff over that way. Wow, what the hell just opened up over here? Okay. Um, however, my main goal is elsewhere. Oh, did I level up? Or did I just get more skill points? Character. I must have leveled up, yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I completely forgot about that. Okay. And I got an additional point I probably for finishing that quest. Um, nothing to really upgrade here. What's this? <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Restore an aura. Champion. The cause is divine glory to apply minor magical steel to all enemies. Launch you for 12 seconds, causing you and your allies to restore 300 magicka every one second, then draining them. While slotted, you, you gain minor fortitude. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Your thing now. Heavy weapons. Increases damage of your done swords, increase your damage done. Okay. Ounce blade. Reduces stamina cost your two handed abilities. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Right off the bat. Um, armor. <coughs> Increases health recovery. Or okay, sure. Might as well throw some of that into the bonuses for armor as well. All right. Let's go over here and find finish this mission. It's been held on to for like two, three weeks now. Sparkly glowy <laughs> I got another one. One out of three. Anyway, uh
What, they just wanted me to find it and then come back? How's this supposed to work? No, not dueling. Good day. I guess I might as well take care of this on my way over. deals with some of these guys out here. Hi. Dang it all. I'm not sure if I'm getting tanky. I think I'm just uh, kind of faster and better than these guys. I think they're taking it easy on me on this one. Be the last one. Not sure how you magicked in front of my face, but you can magic right back out. Now then, someone, something up here. Oh, I think this is where the people were that they were attacking.
poison them. Ashlanders are all the same. I'm sorry. I don't believe I know you. Uh, Kaliki uh, sent me. I have a medicine for, from the camps outside. Our wise woman sent you? By Azora. You couldn't have come at a better time. Let me see what you have. I'll take the herbs to cure at Brandis. <clears throat> As for you, there are many injured soldiers here. Take the drafts and use them on the dying. What should I do when I run out of drafts? Meet me in the main temple complex. It's up the stairs to the southwest. I'll be speaking with Curate Brethis. Brethis is supposed to be wise for a houseman. Surely I can get him to see reason, even if this guar-brained ordinator won't. All right. You, take one of these. Call me in the morning. And you. And you get one. Oh, pardon me. There. Sorry, ma'am. The tent was getting in the way. And who else wants one? Oh, looks like you do. Hello, madam. Here you go. Sorry, the rest of you, you're all going to suffer. <laughs> because the game ordained it. <clears throat> Hello. Another stranger in my temple? You must be the Ashlander's chosen emissary. I use the Ashlander's medicine on the dying soldiers at the wise woman's request. Though violence still threatens our sanctuary, I am grateful. I know Hedrana, and I know we both desire peace. What can we do to gather it in our arms? There's a long history of bad blood between the Ashlanders and our order. Hidrana and I can't impose peace on our followers, however we might feel. If we could stem the tide of violence, even for a moment... Can you call for reinforcements? Who would respond? The Pact holds the Covenant at bay. The only troops they've sent are their wounded and dying. You've helped the grievously injured, but wounded soldiers can't protect us. Who else is there? There is still a source of power left to us. The <clears throat> Tribunal. Perhaps the three will show us a way through these trying times. Go to the sanctuary on this floor and pray at the shrine. Perhaps the tribunal will answer you. They have answered vicariously through others before. I guess I'll have a look. So it's on this floor, yes? Yep, there we go. Hello. Ah, it's you again. The child whose soul was stolen. My lady Amalexia is grateful for the aid you gave disciple Sildras. Uh, Kurt Brethus uh, fears the temple will fall. Is there anything that the tribal can do? My lady has many can responsibilities do. to her children. Is Iliath more important than the Covenant invasion? Than Molag Ball's schemes? than a mother struggling to give birth in Mournhold, or a father praying for his sick child's life in Sedanim? If the Ashlanders attack, everyone here may die. Even if they do attack, everyone here will still die someday. Even you, child. One night, you will close your eyes and never return to Tamriel. The tribunal does not offer immortality, nor does it shield the reverend from the trials of life. Is there nothing we can do? Ah, now that is a wiser question. Alma Lexia bids me to say this. Go to the chapel below this temple. Take ashes from the urns of Narathran and Faryon. Scatter them in the eternal flames beneath the northern and southern towers. What shall I do after scattering the ashes? The ordinators will appear before you. You must earn their respect. Long ago, Narathran <coughs> and Faryon were guard captains who gave their lives to defend Iliath. Defeat them in combat, 
and they'll aid in your defense of Iliath. Why do I have to fight them to get their help? Suppose a Mur asked you for aid against an enemy he could not defeat alone. If you can defeat him in battle, he's weak, and he wants you to solve problems for him. If he can defeat you, he's strong, and his need is genuine. I guess that makes a sort of sense. Okie doke. There's logic in what she says. And we're getting completely trailed off at this point. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon. Can't you see I'm busy? Can't you see I have mad hopscotch skills, bitch? Uh, anyway, yeah, it's been about an hour. It's almost about time to call it, I think. Um... I want to do this fight, but at the same time, I think that's a, actually a good opener for the next time. So we'll continue this side quest.